call the uh, regular meeting for the City of Essex Junction City Council for Wednesday, September 28, 2022 to order. And I will call the uh, Town of Essex Select Board special meeting for Wednesday, September 28, 2022 to order. Thank you all for being here. Uh, for the City Council staff or anybody of that matter, do we have any agenda additions or changes for tonight? Great. Any additions or changes from staff or board members? All right, no need to approve of the agenda then. Uh, so I'll just move us right into a recognition for the consideration of resolution of appreciation for Brad Luck and Wendy Hisco. So just as a summary, uh, yes, that'd be great. So we didn't get a chance to do this at our last meeting, uh, which was the, the last official meeting of Brad and Wendy acting as the interim co-managers for the city of Essex Junction, which is a, a task that we greatly appreciate them taking on. It is certainly a, uh, a significant addition that was onto their already quite full workloads. Um, so we just wanted to, to take the moment and really appreciate the, the great work that two of them have done. Uh, Raj, would you mind doing your great duty of the briefing? Sure. This is a resolution of appreciation for Brad Black and Wendy Hisco. Whereas the electorate of Essex Junction chose to petition the Vermont legislature to fully separate from Essex Town and become an independent city. And whereas the decisions of the electorate compelled the Essex Junction trustees to seek a municipal manager to manage Essex Junction, regardless of whether separation was to become law. And whereas Brad Luck and Wendy Hisco proposed becoming interim co-managers, enhancing their existing responsibilities to fulfill the duties of Essex Junction's manager. And whereas since February 26, 2022, Brad Luck and Wendy Hisco have successfully managed the municipality through the initial transition from a village to city. And whereas during this time, Brad Luck and Wendy Hisco continue to ensure Essex Junction community receive the level of services the community has come to expect. And whereas in addition to managing the city, the day-to-day -day responsibilities Radluck and Wendy Hisco managed Essex Junction while overseeing such initiatives as the creation of a development review board, land development code updates, creating a cannabis control board, and related land development code enhancements, hiring of new leadership positions, hiring of first city manager, and more. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the City of Essex Junction City Council hereby, hereby express our deepest and sincerest appreciation for Bradlock and Wendy Hisco's excellent service to our community. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. City Council, any other comments? Hearing none, I would entertain the motion to approve the, resolu the resolution as read. Uh, so moved. Second. Thank you, Amber. Any further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Passed unanimously. Thank you all. to the other business at hand. First um, up. Andrew, I didn't vote. I abstained from voting. Okay. Uh, in that case, because we have somebody who is uh, who is remote, we're going to need to go through um, do the roll call. So on that, uh, Andrew, I'll vote aye. Raj? Aye. Amber? Aye. And George? Abstain. Okay. Pass three, zero with the one abstention. Thank you. So now that will bring us into public to be heard. So this is the portion of tonight's meeting where if there are members of the public who wish to bring something to the agenda of both of our boards, now is the time to do so. For those of you who are using Zoom, please go ahead and raise your hand. I'll make sure to give you time. For those of you here in the room, if you don't mind just raising your hand, I'll be able to call on you. Seeing no hands in the room, so going over into Zoom, seeing no hands on Zoom, so no public to be heard. Going into business item 6A, discussion of potential action of the tree farm management memos, tree farm management. Would you bring these up? That'd be great.
in terms of just introducing these, is that Brad Alley? Do them to at least introduce for the public? Mm -hmm. Then we can. Yep. He's in the room. Didn't see him come in. You were like, I'm blocked from my door. Just a quick introduction. Obviously, this has been discussed for over a year now. Um, and um, so tonight, I think, is the opportunity for two boards to have further conversation to see. Um, basically, you know, the memo uh, highlights the key points that back in August, uh, there was the initial meeting. Um, and then in November, both boards unanimously supported uh, a four year extension um, of the existing agreements. There are three agreements one between the two boards, one between the two boards and the three power management group, and a lease for the three power management group uh, to lease the property. Um, both boards voted unanimously to um, extend those agreements for four years, and ultimately uh, things would end up in municipal control at the conclusion of that. Uh, in February, both boards agreed to extend the three agreements that were due to expire on July 31 to December 31 of this year. Uh, and then I think it was in May, uh, the select board revisited the issue. Um, and uh, I think staff and select board agreed um, that they would like an extension um, that results in third party management, um, continued third party management of the parcel moving forward. Uh, and I think that was reiterated again. Um, this past August um, by the select board. And so we find ourselves here tonight um, to have a conversation that the, um, the council, I think, has expressed that it's still interested in honoring the November vote, um, which was an extension uh, followed up by municipal management. Um, so that will be the, the discussion tonight to figure out um, how those two uh, differing opinions uh, can be reconciled, uh, if possible. Thank you, Brad. Not sure if Greg, Marguerite, Ali, anything else either of you? Sure, Ali had um, nothing to mention. I think she's targeting 6.30, so it'll be here back in. Uh, Brad captured it well. I would just uh, clarify one little nuance that the select board um, isn't necessarily looking at targeting third party management as the end result of the lease. Um, not opposed to that. I uh, wanted to have the conversation, the select board and, and staff brought it up, select board agreed to have that conversation about what that end result looks like. Um, they no longer think it should absolutely be ending in municipal uh, management at the end of the four year lease extension. <clears throat> um, part of it is looking at the MOU that's in place that's been extended that talks about having that third party management as the uh, oversight for management for the tree farm. So I think that's part of what the conversation is tonight is to figure out if that MOU and the intent of that MOU is still in place um, and the end result. Uh, we did try to look into the, the municipal management, um, having some challenges there, just exactly of what that would look like. So before we went too far down that road, um, the select board wanted to have the conversation tonight with the city council about how to end that, what, what that lease looks like at the end of that four years. And, I think that captures it, but I would look to the select board members because I don't want to necessarily speak for any of them. This is just relaying what has been discussed in the past. So with that, um, what we had uh, in terms of the forum for the rest of this part of the conversation, uh, given that this is a, a multi-party agreement, multi-party uh, contract, looking to have the bulk of the conversation between our boards within executive sessions, so that way we don't have another party be privy to that conversation. Uh, and so as such, we would have that in executive session. So to do things a little differently, what we would do is have the public comment in advance. So if there are members of the public who would like to uh, raise comments, we can take that now and then go into the executive session so we can have our discussion. I'm sorry, Andrew, could you explain again what, why we would go into executive session? Because of third third party, what what are you do you mean yeah not it's not just a contract between the the town and the city this is ultimately leading to a contract between town city and the free farm management group but why would that require executive session so that we don't reveal strategy for our discussion oh i see okay great uh, yeah and as we were coming into this um town staff and keep the select board is under the 
expectation that the MOU discussion would be had in public and that the possibility of having a discussion about the lease would be under executive session, a discussion of real estate. Right, because the, yeah, the MOU um, is between the MOU is these two public entities. If we're talking about, sure, if we're talking about a lease, then saying. sure, that's a different question. I see what you're saying. Well, Raj? I'm just trying to think this through. I'm not saying one way or the other. The MOU dictates whether we contract with someone else and, and that preferred the only mentioned entity that we would contract with is Chief Tree Farm Management Group. So any results from the MOU, just again, hadn't gone that far in my head, just trying to think out loud. Any discussion of the MOU would automatically impact how we what we agree with as far as what ends up with Tree Farm Management Group in a contract. So the Tree Farm Group does has no signature, no say in the MOU. That they did not prove it. They're not they're not they were mentioned, sure, because they were the entity at the time, but I think there's also a clause in there that says that it could be any third party entity if if it if it is, you know, if the proper things are followed, I think there's a four year um, notification we're supposed to provide to the farm management group if we're going with another entity that's still in place there. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, it's, it's an agreement between the two of us, not, not a third party. So just looking into our. Yeah. Yep, the MOU was a part of the public packet. Um, so yeah, that's fine. We can have that the MOU conversation, an executive open session, and then during that conversation or at the conclusion of that conversation, go into executive afterwards as necessary to talk about the other two. Sure, if there's a reason to when we get there, yeah. Can I ask a clarifying question? Um, I believe I heard it stated that in February we extended the lease for four years. Okay. Sorry, extended to okay. the Okay. Okay, thank you. That was the plan, but we never okay. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, so to go back, let's have that conversation about the MOU first, uh, as we normally would, and then go from there. For the for the others. Or if you don't mind going into the uh, MOU as well. So, select so like where you all had the conversation last about what you wanted to see out of this. Do you right. want to talk about that? Sure, sure, I can do that. So, what we're what we're looking at is putting together a lease agreement that has stipulations in it that addresses the the issues that the concerns that have been raised, um, access to the property. Uh, uh, There's no access to financials, um, financial needing to follow open meeting law, uh, warnings, things of that sort. So transparency uh, concerns with the, the tree farm management group, how, how it's being operated. So, so we want to put more into the lease agreement and then monitor how they do over the four year extension. And in that, you know, at some point, that we could we could agree on some sort of schedule to say okay if they're not meeting this by this date then we can start talking to that talking about other options or if they're continuing on then we have to have a different discussion do we want to continue to a third party continue with third party or take it so uh, so i think that's the that's the the the, the view the select board has given given that Today's uh, September 28th and December 31st is three months and less than a handful of days away. I, I don't know that we can um, work through all of the, uh, all of the issues that we will, that will come up with regard to sharing responsibility for the municipal responsibility for the, the tree farm group. And the fact that the, the MOU includes language in there that says that if you want to have this discussion with the tree farm group, it needed to start in 2018. And it's now 2022. So 
we have some feeling that we should honor that four year stipulation that was in there initially. And so that's where the four, that's why we back when we talked about this before, when we voted on it before, we voted on a four year uh, extension agreement. We'd like to have that extension agreement have um, essentially, I guess, a trial period to see how the tree farm management group moves forward with stipulations about transparency and, uh, and then uh, at some point during that four years make a determination whether to continue. If we can we could certainly talk about the schedule of that. Can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had a unanimous agreement with both boards back last time we discussed this back in November. Is that correct? And it, that it right and and it at at that time I think what I think what the agreement was what we were trying to say was that um, because it was four years we would see if uh, working together the two the two municipal um, rec departments and the tree farm management group could come to some agreement and understanding of how to address all of these issues like transparency and access. Um, and yet, uh, you know, satisfy our need for greater transparency and oversight of their operation. Um, and at the same time, we would retain the good, the good services that they're providing, the volunteer services that we would have to compensate for if they left. So my understanding was that was kind of the concept um, of behind the four year agreement, but maybe, maybe my memory isn't serving me well. So I'm looking to you, Andy. And yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I mean, is that kind of what we had in mind? And, and my, my, the point of my question is I'm, I'm trying to understand exactly what has changed um, that makes it different now. So I can, I can comment on a couple of things there. One is that there was, we had seen from, from the village at the time, the, mm -hmm. um, a proposal that included in this year we will take over the control of the finances and this year we will do this and this year we will, we will do that so that was a takeover plan not an evaluation plan that's, a, that's completely different than what, what we're thinking at this point and to and to answer the question of how we've gotten to different thinking is our staff reviewed the proposal and given all of the things that we're doing to figure out how to um, be a town on our own Right. Um, it, 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 it was town staff's recommendation was that we revert to pushing all of that work to figure out how to also control, manage the out to a later date. Okay. Go ahead, Ron. I just want to clarify too, when we did talk, the impression that this, the village trustees had as that as we approached that motion it was that it would be three years and then all of a sudden the select board motioned for four and we were stuck either blowing it up or agreeing to the four so in so one might, year I just, four, what, regardless one of minor correction i think i'm the one who proposed four okay i well, think if you went back and watched the videotape oh, i have. see that i was the one who said four yeah and i i don't know why um, I'm looking at Don because I think I, we were looking at each other at the same time that we were doing, and I can't remember why we said four instead of three, but for some reason four came out. But I, at any I, rate, we're I, we're one year down, so we're looking at three more, um, essentially. Yeah. So, so when you're negotiating a contract, the time of the contract doesn't pass before you sign the contract. I don't think so. I don't, we're not. I don't. I don't I, I'm not there to. <laughs> Agree that another year has that a year has passed, and that therefore yeah, it's three. Yeah, and I I don't, <clears throat> and I would say that I think we have a larger concern in terms of what the end result is before we talk about number of years anyway. Yeah. Um, I think we have a larger philosophical um, decision to make around what the end is, right. um, regardless of how Tree Farm does, um, whether they meet our benchmarks or not. Um, you know, I'm I'm not sure that. Um, I'm personally comfortable having that large public parcel run by a third party when I think I think the reason it started that way, if I'm not mistaken, I think someone who was around when, when this was signed said that the 
reminded me that the village did not have a rec department at that time. I don't think they had a rec department when the second extension in the 2012. The dates are very fuzzy. When the re-up somewhere around 2012 happened, we didn't have a rec department. It was with the school. Now we have a very successful recreation department. It's very capable of running that public parcel for the entity. Um, so I think hearing what you're saying about the town not being in a position right now to take that on is one thing, but I think to to move towards a question of whether that's going to be municipally managed or managed by a third party is something I think for me needs to be decided first before we talk about length of any contract that might come. Um, I may be the only one in the council that thinks feels that way, but I don't think I am. So I just want to put that out there. Thank you, Raj and Tracy. I know you handled that before. Yeah, I just wanted to comment on George. I think you mentioned four years. Um, I was. I think I saw Raj's jaw drop when I said four years. I made the motion. You made. Um, re reading the room, I, I felt that if it was three years, the select board would not have passed it. Uh, and I preferred to go with four years rather than the select board voting it down so that we actually had a path forward. Um, a lot has changed since November. Uh, you are now a city. Uh, at the time, we also felt that we would have an agreement as part of separation that would govern the tree farm. We do not. Uh, this gives us, would allow us some assurances to have open financials, transparency in that matter, public meetings, um, public participation in meetings, things of that sort, while also adding runway uh, to our timeline because December is coming up pretty quickly. Uh, so it would allow us to enter into a planning mode to have those conversations, Raj, like you're talking about, what is our vision? Where do we wanna go? How do we get there? Um, so from my perspective, that's how I see this. And so just going uh, back to a little bit to, to what Raj was saying, part of, I think, even some of the underlying, I'll describe as frustration, maybe that's just for me personally, is we had the agreement back in November as to where we were going. And here we are now, in some regards, rehashing what we had already previously agreed to because there's now a, a change of heart, if you will, as to the select board and decide to pass forward. Well, and to be clear, the, the intent back in November was go work on this agreement here are sort of the guide rails guardrails bring it back to us so that then we have something to discuss quite frankly that didn't happen um which we had started conversations back in may uh to try and reinvigorate those conversations um in addition to preparing for separation all of the agreements that went into that uh the legislature forming a city um so it it didn't really have legs at that point. Uh, so here we are, again, reinvigorating those conversations to try and identify a, a way forward. Ethan? Can I just add, too, that the meeting that was supposed to be a joint meeting this spring was canceled? Uh, although it was part of the discussion that was supposed to be had this spring, but that, that meeting never took place. I have no idea what happened in that time. Yeah, I don't recall, frankly. Right. We had a joint, I, I forget <laughs> what month it was, but we had a joint meeting scheduled. And it was eliminated. Greg? I can't recall exactly the it was My first part of the board, so I remember. This is the first joint meeting you've had. Yep, that's been a while for sure. Right, and, and as, as Tracy said, the intent of the four month extension that we did provide was that we would work out how all that was going to happen. We asked, we did ask for a joint meeting many months ago, and this is the first opportunity we've had to get together. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're very close to outer runway here. So I know with what we've we've talked about from the, the city council perspective is we, we liked the original agreement, we liked the original intent of that conversation of uh, where we were going, and that's where we're happy to continue with. So what I'm trying to do is figure out how to best have that as a change within this 
to the strap. Andrew, just so you know, there is somebody with him. Thank you, Regina. Before we go into other public comments, I think that we've had sort of our say as to where where our perspective are where our perspectives are, where we feel, what's brought us to this point. Do you want to take that break for for public input? Is there more conversation from board at this point? I I don't know that I'm entirely clear. I know that I know where we are. Um, <laughs> I might be the only person, but I'm not sure. Are we saying? Um, that we're where where we are and where we're comfortable with is with the four year continuing uh, uh, with the motion that with the motion we agreed to last November to mm -hmm. end the contract four more years and at the end we would possibly have municipal takeover or possibly not is that what you're saying or is there I, I'm not quite understanding what what I'm saying is that um, with our previous conversations around having this uh, come back under the purview of the municipalities is really where we were where we were headed where our conversations were headed, and where we wanted to take this is it is it the select board's desire at the end if we continue with the four-year lease is it the select board's desire at the end that that we would absolutely have the municipalities take, take take back control of the property is that what you're saying no okay no it, that's why I'm, I I'm seeing two very I don't you're saying there's agreement I'm not seeing I don't see it uh, right, right. Right. So, right. and I, I don't think I, I, and I said, I, and, and, and Trace, and, and uh, thanks for correcting me. I couldn't tell if it was you or me who did the four year thing. And you were right. I was trying to read the room as well. Um, but I, as I said, I, I would look at to see if we couldn't come to a, a, a three a tripartite agreement at the end of four years that we would then have municipal takeover of the facility. But I might, at least my thought was that wasn't be an absolute position, at least for me, but maybe it is for the other city councilors. I'm not sure. So to, to be clear on something, that we're not we're not saying absolutely no, we right. will not take it over. We're just not sure. But it's 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 still a possibility, right. absolutely. But it's not a okay. it, it sounds to me like Andrew is saying that the city says we absolutely want to take it over and the select board is saying, Well, we want to work on the issues that are there. We want to understand what it really means to us. We want to take the time that we need to understand what it's by us out. How we can do it successfully, um, you know, rather than trying to cram all that into three months and two days. Right. Okay. George, the initial, you know, we keep coming back to that initial resolution. The initial resolution did include municipal management at the end with the formation of a business plan and a transition the, plan. The resolution. The original resolution after our discussion that we were talking about was it three years was it four years the original resolution appears to read that the select board offer a lease agreement to the tree farm management group for four years and that essex parks and recreation and essex junction recreation and parks assume the management of the tree farm facility thereafter with the understanding that the lease agreement would need to be developed with that transition plan and business plan there was a lot of talk about coming up with a business plan for how that would actually look Okay. Um, there was some public comment and question as to whether EGRP could actually, and EPR could manage that. But so but within that framework, you could still envision having a third party operate the operate the property. You could still say municipal control, but with, with the third party actually doing the opera, the, the the they could still be there. I'm not seeing how that works. I'm not seeing there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, aside from you know, contracting for services, maybe you know if. I'm not sure what service would be left over if the municipalities are handling the programming and the scheduling. Right. So, George, you're right that there, there isn't an agreement as to where that end path is and to what that end result is. Right. So that's your your articulation was spot on. That, okay. Well, there isn't agreement. <laughs> yeah. So if I was saying that there is, then, then I apologize. That's, that's no, pro no problem. No problem. That's great. Um, just a question, real quick. I, about the hand in the room, it's not Kendall Chamberlain, is it? No, I can't see the. No, I can't see anybody. So I'm just curious. So it's a member. Yeah. Kendall wanted to speak. I heard. No, I keep trying to go back and forth between. I didn't pull here and there. So I, like, I don't know who's in. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's kind of tricky when you're doing both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Um, so it sounds like the thing that we're going to need to try to figure out is how do we resolve that difference of of where we're trying to go and. What our desired end goal is, uh, 
back in our, our city council uh, previous, that's what we had discussed and where we had settled. It sounds like you you all have settled on a not. So something like that sounds like that's where we are. I guess I don't want to sound like a smart aleck when I ask this, and so I apologize if it comes across that way, but why is with the city, with all you have to do in forming the new city, are you in such a hurry to take over the tree farm? It's not that they were in a hurry. We're not asking to take this agreement and turn it into a, a one-year agreement. We're going to make it effective as of the, the new calendar year. You already sounded. So I would ask for members of the public if you could please mute yourself until uh, we've been called upon. Please and thank you. Yeah. And just for clarification, sorry, I don't want to... So, yes, it sounds like the city council's stance is yes, you absolutely want it under municipal management. Uh, but for a clarification, saying it sounds like the select board does not is is inaccurate. Okay. Good. The select board stance is we don't know. Um, it could be, it could not be. Uh, but that's what that runway gives us time to have these conversations uh, and plan for one way or the other. So just a minor Clarification, I don't want you to think that we're absolutely no, we don't want, you know, municipal management. Um, it's just that many things have changed and we would just like some, like I said, some runway to, to think about it and have these discussions collaboratively to identify where do we go and how do we get there. There's been a, a lot of back and forth dates. Can you just reiterate to me the, the timeline of, I, I just thought I heard you say the end of the fiscal year which we would vote it on for December 31st you're talking on January 1st or would it be a four-year and then consideration of I guess I didn't understand that first yeah it, Don was asking what the the rush is from the city council about having this become a municipally managed uh endeavor and the response was that they're we're not trying to rush anything or make that faster but rather we're trying to maintain that end goal of the end goal is to have this be a municipally maintained park entity just like every other park within both the the town and the city in four years you're saying uh to that's what the original intent or what the original motion was so there was a there was a proposed schedule which i don't think is was included i didn't see it in the packet here i don't think it's in there i just not in there that the one that said you know financial takeover of this state but you know it, it was there was a there was a schedule that was proposed and the the rate at that which that schedule is moving is set in that proposal again it's i guess i think it's in the packet yeah. um i think it might be in it says there's following recommended terms it says uh 1124 Free farm would operate 2023 seasons. It's in there. Then, uh, at the end of the 22 season, the tree farm would hand over all physical and financial assets to municipalities. And it says 1 1 23, which would be this coming January. The municipality is still sure if it's a fiscal agent for the property. And then all revenues, expenses related to the tree farm shall be managed by municipalities as well as directed by tree farm until 12 31 23. Which would be the coming year. But. So in the packet, Ethan, are you on page three? I'm on bottom? page one. On um, on on the. Uh, so I'm not sure our packet is the same as your packet. I'm on I'm on your packet, you sent me. Uh, this is sorry. It's it it's, says okay. So page one of the I don't have a page, page three number. of forty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's I just have page okay. one of the of the right one of three, and this it's different memo. Different different yeah, ones yeah, put yeah. together. Right. All right. So it's page three of forty. I think is where he is at the bottom. Recommended terms. Yes, yeah, it says the yep. following were the recommended terms. Because that's what I was reading, and that's kind of why I asked about the, the timeline, because this timeline is like effective immediately. And well, that this, and I'm, you know, this is from back in November. Year ago, November. Year. So this would, ob right. not obviously, I guess this would need to be adjusted because we haven't done anything essentially since the right. record, so I guess. In that, in that scenario, which we're not necessarily saying, and then I also had I also had the same concerns. I think we shared as a board was with the uh, with the with the contract on ending or terminating the contract. 
you know, it was clearly written in there about the, the transformation or the, the transition period, you know. And Where is that part of us? The MOU says a four year, we need to, needed to start having discussions with the third party in 2018. Well, about the next contract. About the next contract. So not about whether to extend it or anything like that, just to talk with them in that time period. So there's no stipulation that says that you have to, before termination, that you have to give them a four-year leeway. It's just an inference being taken from the statement. Um, I, 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 I don't, I can't offer a legal opinion as to what that means. You know, if you don't, if you miss a, a, a date in, in that, an MOU like that, does it, does it then imply that, I don't, I, I don't know what it implies. You're not a, I'm not asking for your legal opinion. I was yeah, just asking yeah. about your, your opinion. Uh, my, my okay. thought is that we owe them four years of notice. Cause that was the intent of the MOU and you know, I was bringing it up late. I mean, it's like uh, it's like I have a contract with Greg Duggan over there. If I miss one of the one of the dates that I have in it, then it's you know, it's not his fault. Yeah, I I think it's difficult. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> no way though, Andy. And I don't want this to come off as, as crass or, or too hard or anything, but I I think it's difficult for us to talk about the intent of the mem of the MOU from twenty. 10 when George is the only person in the room who was there. But I think George might be able to speak to the intent. But I mean, unless well, we're. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't that know. That would be a bad idea because you've already seen how poor my memory is. <laughs> it just like a couple of months ago. But anyway. Yeah, I think you end up working, you end up using the words that are on the page. Yeah. Right? And somebody's going to have to interpret them. And my, my interpretation is, and you know, others could interpret it other ways, I'm sure. But. Uh, well, I think in that respect, if I can, in that respect, we put them on notice November of last year. So with that resolution, if that's what you're saying. So that means four years from November, it's the four years. If we're going to give them notice, whether we gave them a letter saying this is what's going on or this isn't, I guess, yeah, I guess we'd have to talk about that. Ready. what that means and what the responsibilities are from this. I, I just uh, wanted to make a quick comment about that because I'm kind of trying to read through all this and interpret it all to myself. And what it kind of hung up, I hung up on was a uh, contract extension is extending the current terms and not a new contract, in my opinion. I don't know if that's right or wrong but that, as i read all this i was thinking about the dates and things and I, when we extend we extended the contract we extended the existing terms of the contract mm -hmm. with no new stipulations we just simply moved it on for now a year so as the contract was written originally is right. what it was extended in my opinion So in some way, it feels like we're spinning our wheels. I'm not sure if I'm the only one feeling that way at this time. Um, would it be helpful if we went through the changes that are in the MOU to identify where we do have agreement so we know where we don't? So now we can try to limit this conversation a little bit. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I guess we can do that. I, I guess. Uh, or I'm open to other thoughts. And I'm not, I'm not sure who, who made the who made the changes. You know? Yeah, I don't have changes either. There, there's, I, I mean, I, I see. You know, it's showing up here. There's, there's edit comments, right? <laughs> who did that? Was that okay? Hi. Okay, All right. thanks, Alan. I just was <laughs> wondering where it came from. Great. So I think in general, we can certainly all agree that the village has been changed to city. <laughs> I think that we don't need to necessarily debate that one at all. Um, 
Yeah, appreciate the change the school district name. I'm not sure of the difference. But the rewording it sounds like yeah, it sounds like it was worded as if the purchase from the state was in the future. And so it's oh, just taking that, that language out because it's not really relevant. Right. Yes. The resident guide with that lease agreement subsequently with another entity. Can I ask a quick question, please? The initial purchase in terms of the first handover from the state to this village and the town has expired. Are we in any under any requirement to keep any language from the previous MIA? There's nothing deeded in this that says any of this, right? Is there, sorry, is there anything specific to this parcel in a deed, lien or otherwise, that means that any of this has to remain? So so the, the MOU remains in perpetuity until we mutually agree to change it right. or okay. the, the parcel is subdivided. Okay. So right. there's nothing. So as long, if, as long as we agree to change, so as long as we can. agree to change it, we can. But I, again, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not fully cognizant or fully understand all of the terms imposed by the state. So I, I, I can't say that we can change absolutely everything. I don't. I don't know how all that links together. We should probably find that out if, eventually. If there's anything right. Yes. Except for the next part where it says the town and city are named, named as tenants in common in the deed. That seems to be fixed. Yeah. Can you say that again? The next section, B, you know, the town and city are named as tenants in common in the deed. That's definitely fixed. Yeah, the MOU can't change the deed. Right. right. So, with the purpose of the purpose of this MOU, it provides the orderly and efficient management. Like, Ability and performance of plan lease agreement. Does it need to say in conformance with the plan lease agreement, or is the purpose to have an orderly and efficient management and oversight of the facility? Um, Oh, right, because this implies again that like it's been written as if the a lease agreement is a future thing. Right. I think it's implied if we come up with a lease agreement as a joint owner that what we're doing mm -hmm. is to, to make sure we're in conformance with the lease agreement we're executing. I don't see how that would be required to be in there. So um Rather than try to write rewrite this thing in, in this meeting, should mm -hmm. we each look at this in detail and try to make proposals for changes? And as we've done in re agreements in the past, I think it's going to be tough to smith this yeah. uh, live here. Certainly can, trying to respect the, the date of September 28th. Yeah. Well, but we, we asked for a meeting back in April and May. Yeah, that's 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 a big issue, right? What happens? That's the other thing. Maybe we need to talk about what happens if we don't come to agreement by December thirty first. Then we don't no longer have an agreement with three power management. I think we could all speculate, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah. So, if we do that. Um, I guess uh, the city council will need to prioritize at our next meeting to to take a pass. Um, or let me rephrase: Would you like us to take a pass to have our proposals or our proposed changes to this for them you to review at a at your subsequent meeting? So this this is a right. This is an initial proposed pass by town staff. So yeah, Karen, you want to comment? 
Yeah, if I may, um, just a suggestion for tonight. I mean, this is obviously uh, this is a draft proposal from town staff. Um, I don't think anything significantly changed in there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the big question for us has been a staff that the stipulations about third parties agree. Does that intent still hold? Um, it don't it sounds like there's probably not going to be an answer to that tonight. Um, possible suggestion is it worth getting into executive session later on tonight, talk about what the terms of the lease might look like and see if there's some sort of common ground for the next four years. It sounds like the, the direction's not going to be clear. I'm going to have to make some discussion about the lease and come back out to see where and what you may have to see just. I'm okay with that. City Council or select board members, anything? Can we still hear from the public, though, that's been waiting to speak? Sure, absolutely. Um, I just wanted to make sure that that was the path that the boards were okay taking before we did that. I'm not seeing anything different online either. Um, so if we do that, then uh, what we can do is take a public comment on the topic. If you're okay with it, take a public comment on the topic. Uh, and then our next agenda item is also an executive session. Sorry. I believe our next. Or both, just... both of the next, uh, yeah, the other, the other uh, agenda right. item is business item is also executive session. And it's definitely an executive session discussion. All right. So then just go through, have the public comments. <laughs> uh, hold off on the other items, finish off the consent agenda, yep. reading file, then go into executive session. Yes. Great. So if there's no disagreement from members of the boards, great. So then we can turn things over into the public for public comments. Um, I know, Betsy, you've been waiting the, the longest with your hand up patiently. Thank you for that. So why don't you go Thank ahead you. and kick stuff off? Thank you very much, Andrew. Um, uh, so I remember last November and that you all voted yes for this. So we have a contract, basically, an MOU. And then- Just a moment, we have an echo in the room that I, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm not quite understanding. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on a moment. I think we okay. need one of the TVs. Okay. There we go. Try that again. Okay. I remember last November when this vote happened and it was a unanimous vote. And after the vote, you said you were gonna get together so that you could, um, make a list of objective criteria for the evaluation of the chief farm management group so that you would know you could say yes they're doing a great job or well this is what you did wrong because you had to give them information for why you were not going to continue their um, contract and that's what i remember about that but what but it seems like what you're doing now is you're like you're opening another part of the of a contract up because this is like a new negotiation of terms with this um, conversation that I'm listening to. Is that correct? That's what you're doing? Renegotiating it? We have a four-year contract with this, a four-year MOU. But you want to renegotiate this now. Is that correct? So, so Betsy, we, we only extended the contract to the end of this calendar year. Oh, I thought it was for four years. No. No, it was okay. until the end of this year. To... I'll go back. And look. Thank you. Not seeing any other hands up in Zoom world. Any members of the public wish to speak to this item that are in the room? Okay. Not seeing any. So then as such, that next business item 6B would also be an executive session, which would take us into the consent items. Uh, I think they're all for the city council. So, city council, I entertain the motion to approve the consent agenda. I move we can we approve the consent agenda. I'll second. Thank you, Raj. Thank you, George. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Both say nay. I pass unanimously. Thank you all. The reading file, and if there are board member comments, just one comment. Um, the construction site at 195, 197 Pearl, if we could make another reminder, I think they got a formal letter reminder, if we could make another reminder to not block the sidewalk, 
one of our busiest roads with no other options for pedestrians, cyclists, wheelchairs, strollers. It has been blocked every morning this week for periods of time. Um, it would be great if they need to make deliveries and do other things for more than a couple minutes. That they arrange for whatever they need to arrange to safely close a lane. But, you know, students use it. People with, hand, with disabilities use it. It's unfortunate for them, I realize, but can't keep calling um, PD on them. Great. Thank you, Raj. Tracy, saw your hand. Uh, I didn't notice this before now, but in the packet, the check warrants um, are the town of Essex accounts payable. So I'm curious whether that was a misclassification that it's for city council only. Or if You're it was welcome. included by mistake. Yeah, I... It's a merge uh, because yeah. we have the, the merge finance system the... under the account numbers. If you look under account where it says 210, everything beginning with a 2 is us. Everything beginning with a 1 is you. Greg Marguerite, am I wrong on that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's just that. Took me how long? This okay. Report. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah. No, we check that box. Yeah. That's come up before I'm on hours wondering, wait, are we, why are we approving the town's finances? That's not right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, as long as we're taking board member comments, right. uh, I want to mention that uh, there's ex the uh, Explore Essex event coming up this weekend. I'd like, like to invite all to come and have a good time. Thank you, Andy. Your hand up. Uh, yeah, I know our new manager is looking for stuff to do, uh, so I want to give her a couple of things. And so um, I would like to have, not right away, but sometime in, on an upcoming to agenda, uh, two issues. One, to begin the conversation of how what we're going to do with the um, uh, Public Works Department uh, in replacing or renovating or whatever we're going to do with that building. I would like to begin to put a stake in the ground about how we're going to approach that, um, particularly with the... Uh, budget season coming up. And number two, I would like to um, have a uh, an architect's report about this building and get us back on track for the renovation of Lincoln Hall. I'd like to start with, a, with a, again, to go back and John have John Alden's uh, report about the space needs in this building and potentially, hopefully, with John coming here so we can discuss it with him. Yep. Thank you. They're all upcoming. But along that note, just real quick, Regina, this is your first city council meeting as a city manager. Thank you. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> Very yeah. exciting. Must also like to welcome you on behalf of the <laughs> Looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Exciting to be here. I'm seeing the hands up on our members who are virtual. Uh, so for these two business items, I'm assuming 6B may be faster. And so should we prioritize that conversation so that that way our police chief can mm -hmm. have the rest of this evening and then go into tree farm? Yep. OK. Uh, while I pull that up, does anybody have the MC mode for 6B? OK. Whatever. Uh, I move the select board and city council make the specific finding that general public knowledge of contracts would take, would place the town and city at a substantial disadvantage. Can I get a second from city council? I'll second. I'll second. George, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Raise pass unanimously. I move the select board city council. I'm oh, sorry, I should only speak for myself. I moved it. <laughs> Took me a minute. You know, City Council entered the executive section to discuss contracts pursuant to 1 VSA section 313A1A to include the City Council, City Manager, and Police Chief. I guess I can't do that. Either. You can include either, either board. You can include okay. Town manager. Um, City Council, Select Board, Town Manager, City Manager, Deputy Town Manager, and Police Chief. If you want Rick. Not for the first part. Okay. We're going to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Raj. Have a second? A second. Thank you, George. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Please say nay. Unanimously. Thank you all.
Okay, any similar motions from the uh, select board? We do. I move that the select board make the specific finding the general public knowledge of contracts would place the town at a substantial disadvantage. Thank you, Tracy. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Ethan. For the discussion. Those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? That's just five zero. I move that the select board enter into executive session to discuss contracts pursuant to 1 VSA 313 A1A to include the city council, town manager, city manager, deputy town manager, and police chief. Second. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Ethan. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion passes 5 0. Great. Thank you all. So if you weren't named, uh, so, you don't mind. So do you, do you want to do the little ones for the other one too? So we can back up open session and make the motion. I think you said go ahead and make that for the other one. Hmm? To make the motion for the other one now. To, so we don't come go back, back into open session to make motions to go back into executive session. That would make sense. Yeah. Sure. Do you want to start? Do you want to go first? Sorry, I feel like I do. I got one here. You got it. I don't have those. I think it's the right one. It's in the back, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me just make sure. Select board. Move that the select board enter executive session to discuss the negotiating or securing of real estate purchase or lease options in accordance with 1 VSA section 313A2 and to include the town manager, deputy town manager, director of parks and recreation, city council, city manager, director of Essex Junction, direction, recreation, and parks. And Harlan Smith. Okay, we have a second. Second. Thank you, Tracy. Further discussion? Those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion passes 5 0. Can I get a similar motion from the City Council? I move. <laughs> I move to find the premature general public knowledge regarding contracts associated with the Tree Farm Recreational Facility would clearly place the city at a substantial disadvantage because the council is disclosing its negotiation strategy if it discusses the contract in terms. And I also move that we go into executive session to discuss contracts under the provisions of Title I, Section 313A1 of the Vermont Statutes to negotiate or secure real estate purchase or lease options under Title I, Section 313A2 of the Vermont Statutes and include Regina Mahoney, Brad Luck, Harlan Smith, members of the Essex Select Board, Greg Duggan, Margaret Ladd, Margaret Ladd, and Ellie Bob. Thank you, Raj. I'll second. Thank you, George. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Also pass unanimously. Thank you all. Did we miss one? Did we miss another? I'm looking. I don't see it under the recommendation section, but it's, I'm double checking the you're not going to just do it for me saying it you can't just remember it oh. <laughs> i could try but it would be the best his motion was was raj's second part the first part right 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 the, the final i'm only seeing one of your recommendations i'm trying to remember if real estate needs the premature knowledge clause <clears throat> i'm not sure we have the same thing that you do i'm on page five of 40. Yeah, yeah, page five of forty is what Raj read from. There you go. I'm on page twenty one. You're on this you're on the second motion for six B. Go so it's page five of forty. If you're seeing the PDF. If you're concerned, you could make that motion from what I'm hearing from Greg is it's not necessary. So if you all want to, feel free. If you don't, you okay. Well, since you're supposed to do it before you do the other one, yeah. <laughs> Isn't procedure fun? <laughs> so my question is, is the, these motions do not have town language, but I just change the language. Sorry, what? The two recommended motions on five or forty are, are uh, saying that it would place the city, not the town. Am I missing something? No town motion. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see. So I think 
I can change that. I can change the word. Great recommendation. We don't need your suggestion that we don't need to make this motion for real estate. I think we're just. I think we're done and we're ready to go. Okay, all right. we're back. So, Thank you all for your patience. Did you want to? I move that the board authorize staff to create a three-year lease between the city and the tree farm management group for review by the respective boards. Is that right? Yes. Thank you, Raj. I'll second that. Thank you, George. Any further discussion? I, you know, I, um, Raj, could you just, I think, um, I didn't quite hear you from here and probably for the folks at home, you might want to just repeat what that motion is. I move that the board authorize staff to create a three-year lease between the city and the tree farm management group for review by the boards. Seeing no other discussion, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say nay. Pass unanimously. Thank you all. I would like to make that same motion on behalf of the select board. I've been waiting for a year and a half to do that. <laughs> that good? Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Don. Any further discussion from the select board? None. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. I entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion and we adjourn. Okay, you're cycling first. Board. <laughs> oh, for the select board. Now you already made it. <laughs> Second. Not debatable. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Select board adjourned. Council? I move we adjourn. A second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Thank you all. We're still here.